hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm showing how to unbreak tp-link router or how to restore the default firmware from tp-link so first of all let's look into the physical connection how you are going to connect your router uh, so you need to connect one cat 6 or cat 5 cable from LAN port any of the four to the laptop and that's about the physical connection and, um, and now we have to download the firmware from TP-Link official website you can just search the model and firmware in Google so that the TP-Link website will be uh, displayed at the top and you can choose the model in case if it's not popping you can choose the model and make sure you're choosing the correct version for the model tp link model so it will be this it will be shown normally under the uh, under the tp link router and uh, you can download the latest version of tp link firmware available so you can see there is a different version available i'm downloading the latest uh, released firmware and it's just uh, 15.2 mb and it's normally a zip file so you need to extract it using your unzip folder i've already unzipped the folder now so we have done two things first we connected physically and downloaded the firmware now we need to download one more software for tftp so you can uh, download SolarWinds TFTP it's a free tool or you can download TFTPD software from uh, internet any of this one it's a free software but in SolarWinds uh, you need to uh, register first uh, for this tutorial purpose I'm using to SolarWinds you just need to fill it up and proceed to free download it's um, an exe file will be downloaded and it's just uh, easy installation next next and finish so uh, I'm not showing this one, the installation of SolarWinds because since it's it's very easy and it's not a part of um, scope of this video. So anyway, once you open the SolarWinds, uh, you can see a window like this, and you can click on Configure under the file, and uh, the configuration will be done on that one. Let me show you something before that. Let me open my all the network adapters on my computer so it's better to uh, disable all the adapters and assign a static ip address for your uh, lan adapter and it must be 192.168.0.66 this is a tftp server address you cannot change it to anyone any anything else it must be 192.168.0.66 because the tp link it will look for this specific ip uh, when it's uh, requesting for the tftp file so we have uh, done that we have assigned a static ip on our lan adapter and make sure that uh, all the network adapters are disabled this is e this is a good step so that we can troubleshoot if there is any problem and i'm also using wireshark for the packet capture so that it's uh, easy for me uh, to avoid confusion this this is a temporary step so it's fine uh, and open the tftp server again once you open the tftp server uh, file configure option and click on the server binding option you can bind to all address on the machine because there is no other address available so it's fine but in case if you have more than one adapter enabled you have to assign it to the specific adapter anyway uh, go with this option that i'm showing and uh, send and receive files you just need to send only so send files is fine and uh, that's all about it and timeout and retry keep it in the maximum so that uh, there will be no timeout it will try 10 times and 20 seconds that's fine 200 seconds uh, so already we started the solar winds um, now uh, let's open the root directory it's coming under tftp root you need to copy the file under the tftp root folder so we already have the firmware file just cut it and paste it on the location 
C drive TFTP root and paste it there is already one I just deleting that one it's the same file um, now let's um, start our process so before that uh, there is something you need to know uh, just keep it start press on start and uh, we need to uh, reset uh, shut down the router physically using the power button and uh, uh, there is a reset button near to the power button in this model so you have to press and hold the reset button and then power on the device so that we can um, uh, so that we can understand the TFTP transfer file transfer is being carried out so let's uh, I'll show you that in how you are doing in a physical connection uh, so I'm showing this one you should have a pin like this uh, because it's a small hole in the near to the power button reset button it will be different for different model of TP link so you you have to maybe sometimes it's a small small button like uh, power so for me I have a hole and I need to press and hold the reset button so just uh, uh, power off the device and press and hold the reset button and then proceed so make sure that uh, TFTP server is running and open Wireshark for packet capture and choose LAN adapter click on the packet capture this is not a required step for but for us to understand what's what is happening so let's search TFTP and wait for the response coming so switch on the router and keep pressing the reset button so that the packets are being captured now you can see that packets are being captured and uh, but unfortunately it's showing there is something wrong like destination unreachable because it's searching for uh, the recovery file but it's not able to find the recovery file from the tftp server so we can understand what should be the name of the file from the file name marker c7 whatever it is so this name we need to put for the file under the tftp under the tftp root folder so let's uh, copy the name of the file which should be the name of the firmware file so let me see how can i copy the yeah right click on the name source file and copy the value and put it on a notepad and make sure it's uh, correct yeah this is fine just copy again from here and open the tftp root folder which is coming under the c drive and tftp root rename the file from the default name and click ok so it's um, it should take next time let's make sure that firewall is turned off so that it's not blocking otherwise you need to make sure that you allow the tftp to run both private and public network so for the tutorial purpose i just uh, disable my firewalls completely in case if it's not working even after you enabled on the firewall just to disable it for temporary and let's uh, repeat the process again make sure that the tftp server is running and power off the router physically press and hold the reset button and power it on let's uh, see the packet capture what's it showing click on the LAN and click on the packet capture 
now let's search for TFTB we need to understand uh, the file is being transferred to the router storage using TFTB so just want to wait for to see the packets so the packets are coming let's uh, filter it for TFTB so you can see that uh, the data is being transmitted and we can easily understand all the packets has been transferred from the packet capture you can see that even the last block has been transferred completely and acknowledgement has been received back so this is great now the only thing we need to do is waiting uh, we need to wait for like two to three minutes to boot uh, our router from its uh, firmware that we have just uploaded let's wait for it to finish um, it should take a couple of minutes like two three minutes uh, during that time we can just keep this wireshark open so that we can understand something is happening just remove the filter and see if the packets are being added more now you can see right now 200 to triple two three seven two hundred sorry 22,263 packets so the packets are being captured which means uh, the processing has been uh, is being carried out and I can see that the router is flashing all we need to do is waiting for it to finish uh, if you have Wireshark it's very easy for us to understand uh, what is happening otherwise uh, we will get confused that something is happening or not and we will power it off a lot of problems will happen so just um, for us to understand this uh, Wireshark will help us and now I can see that my router is being uh, rebooted and uh, now I need to change my LAN IP from a static IP to DHCP and make sure I'm getting an IP from the router because once we uploaded the default firmware the LAN should be enabled automatically mm, still I, uh, it's rebooting that's why I'm not getting any IP let's wait for it to finish it will take like uh, three to five minutes still rebooting once the LAN connection is up uh, you can see that it's enabled now and also it's showing light on the LAN port on router so it is identifying and uh, network ID is assigned network IP is assigned just to make sure that which is the IP right click on the LAN and click on status so you can understand the IP of uh, the computer it's 192.168.0.100 and the gateway is 0 0.1 so just open the gateway IP great so it's um, already opening and we have just to debrick de the our firewall sorry our router using the uh, default firmware from the TP-Link and you can just uh, as in admin admin or whatever password you need for your router and just to make sure that everything is fine now let's get started after you confirm the password just need to put the password again and login okay fine uh, we have done uh, i believe this video was helpful thank you for watching subscribe the channel click the bell icon for notification take care goodbye